end up going and saying the wrong thing to Rex or whatever it is. You know, now in some cases it may be God's will and the right thing to go and talk to your ex. What I will say to you, and this is one of the, this is probably the most important thing of all. The self awareness is so important, and, and the making a plan. You, it's so important. You have to spend that time alone with God by yourself. Light a candle, get on your knees and pray. You know, start making some notes. Figure out your plan, your personal plan. And the reason why is because it's different for everybody. Okay, what is right for and good for one one relationship, one situation, one attempt to get your ex back or attempt to move on and they tend to um well matthew hussey said says he's one he's probably the best dating coach ever all right matthew hussey he's on youtube i think he's you know, he's written books i think and, he, and he's on other sites as well and although i'm not taking all of my beliefs from him i think as dating coaches go he's he's like the best you you will ever get okay he's fantastic and he said that getting over somebody and getting them back is the same process now what I would say is don't even focus, initially at least, too much on getting them back. Uh, now this is where I'll probably go against everything, every, like, no, not every, sorry. I'll, this is, me saying this is going against virtually, like, what every dating coach says, most of them. Because they all say this is how you get your ex back. I, I like Matthew Hussey's advice more, but also what I want to say is you shouldn't even, this, this is where people really go wrong, you should, huh, I didn't write this on here, did, did I? But it comes under this self-awareness thing and, and the hermiting because you begin to realise when you spend that time with yourself that you think, wait, you start to realise, wait a minute, why do I want someone back who's rejected me, who's hurt me? Why would I want them back?